Item number SCP-4499, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. All 19 known instances of SCP-4499 are contained at Ocean Site 7's Marine Protected Area, MPA. Instances are fixed with tracking devices and are implanted with waterproof shock microchips to deter containment breaches. In preparations for potential future sightings, Foundation web crawlers are to monitor social media for reports of talking sharks in the Pacific Ocean, and undercover Foundation agents are to be permanently situated at all major fishing and ocean tour hubs. A joint task force between Foundation operatives and members of the Shark Punching Center designated JTF Sigma-2 Ad Blockers has been established to respond to and contain confirmed SCP-4499 appearances. Description SCP-4499 refers to an anomalous variation of the Cartogodon Carcarius, great white genus of shark. Instances of SCP-4499 appear identical to their non-anomalous counterparts. Autopsies have revealed the presence of a human-like larynx in the subject's throat, hypothesized to be responsible for the anomaly's abilities to produce human vocalizations. Notably, the presence of a standard immobile basal in place of a human tongue should still impede the pronunciation of numerous sounds, particularly velar and alveolar consonant. However, listeners universally report clear and concise speech, often describing it as smooth and charismatic. Research into the possibility of cognitive hazardous methods of information transfer are ongoing. Electroencephalography on SCP-4499 instances reveals increased activity in the left frontal lobe, atypical of standard variants, likely responsible for their ability to process and articulate complex phonetics. Despite speech capabilities, however, SCP-4499 instances do not respond to conversation prompts, instead engaging in infomercial style sales pitches for various anomalous subjects. Note, refer to Addendum 4499A1 for a list of SCP-4499 sponsored products directed towards any humans in close proximity. How SCP-4499 obtains information on these anomalies is currently unknown, and priority status has been assigned to containment of advertised products not currently in Foundation custody. The length of an advertisement varies significantly. Common sales pitches last anywhere from 30 seconds to 60 minutes. However, on beep occasions, a monologue was recorded lasting in access of beep hours. Post-test interviews reveal that approximately 85% of subjects report a vested interest in buying the advertised product, stating that they are thoroughly convinced of its necessity by SCP-4499. This is not believed to be the result of any anomalous influence, but instead the highly convincing nature of SCP-4499's advertisements. Addendum 4499A1 Excerpts from Sales Pictures Advertised Product SCP-3521 Dotto's First Banana Equivalent Dose Pills Don't you just hate it when you're trying to smuggle plutonium across the border to start a nuclear war? Only for those stick in the mud customs officers to confiscate it and imprison you for life. Well, fret no more, because Stato has a solution for you. Introducing the first banana equipment dose pills by Dotto. A mouthful to say, but a stomach full to ingest. How many kilograms of bananas do you think one pill can generate? Not three, not six. Folks, I'm here today to tell you popping just one of these pills will give you nine million kilograms of bananas. That's more than twice the radiation per hour of the Fukushima reactor. Now for you viewers at home, we have a special TV offer. Note, despite extensive investigation, no record of SCP-4499 having ever been broadcast on live television has been found. 
The first 30 viewers to go to the number on your screen will receive not one, but two containers of Dada's banana pills for the price of one. Plus, all orders within the next 60 minutes will receive free postage. But hurry, supplies are limited. So go now and we guarantee you learn to trust Dado. Advertised product. Dr. Wendertainment's Little Mr. Series. Have you ever looked at your friends' anonymous object collections and thought, Boy, I wish mine was that impressive. Well, fret no more, friends, because I'm here today to introduce you to the highly impressive, highly collectible Little Mr. Series by Dr. Wendertainment. Featuring 20 unique anonymous humanoids, you're guaranteed to be the envy of the whole town. Each order includes one random Little Mr., plus a free collectible Little Mr. checklist that will automatically take itself off for each and every Little Mr. you get. Five amazing anomalies, including Mr. Lie, you won't believe the stuff this guy comes up with. Mr. Mad, we guarantee he'll be the friend you'll only ever imagine. Mr. Stripes, if Facebook think they have your data ready for sale, they've got another thing coming. As always, these products are in limited supply, so be sure to call the number on your screen now, and don't miss out. Disclaimer, Everside Shark and Everside Shark Party Limited are not responsible for the disappearance and or delivery failure of Mr. Lost. Everside's product, SCP-001, redacted. Sensitive information expunged. Note from O5 Beep. How SCP-4499 obtained this information has currently been treated as an alpha-level containment breach. All involved personnel have been given Class A amnestics. Addendum 4499A2. Unusual documented activity. On Beep 20 Beep. Surveillance equipment monitoring SCP-4499's MPA detected Audio patterns consistent with speech. Video recording confirms the following conversation occurred exclusively between two SCP-4499 instances, designated SCP-4499-1 and SCP-4499-2. I don't know, man. I just don't think a statue that kills you when you think has much of a market. No, no, trust me. This thing's cool. I can name 10, 20 anomalous suits that were Killed have one of these things. Dude, it literally smears pieces everywhere. Nobody's going to see that. Besides, it won't do anything if everyone's watching it. Crap, you got a point. Uh, what about that chainsaw that turns inanimate objects into ghosts? I think you've got something there. Imagine the aesthetic appeal for goths or haunted householders. Yeah, that's my angle. Here's what I've got so far. <clears throat> Have you ever looked at a bright, colorful world around you and thought, this happy-go-lucky crap is really copying my vibe? And do we have the product for you? Introducing the chainsaw, the number one product for making what you see what you saw. Oh, that's nice, man. Loving the tongue and cheeks looking really catchy. Yeah, I think I've got a bestseller here. Commissions can be through the roof. Definitely going to see what Steve had to say about this. Both SCP-4499 instances depart, and the conversation ends. Concluding statement. No further conversations have been recorded between any SCP-4499 instances. Foundation attempts to identify the chainsaw in question are ongoing.